Hi all, today we are dealing with the poem Wasteland written by T.S. Eliot. Wasteland is one of the most famous work in English literature. Discussing a poem like Wasteland in a platform like YouTube won't be that possible. So, here in this video, we are discussing the summary of the poem in an exam point of view. I had already posted a Malayalam analysis on Wasteland and you can refer this video for taking the direct English analysis and a note on Wasteland. Through this video, I will summarize the poem completely for attending an essay question. So, we can begin the poem by discussing a few things about the author T.S. Eliot. T.S. Eliot was an eminent English poet, perhaps the most famous poet of the 20th century. Writing poetry, he also wrote plays, literary criticism and he is one of the major figures of English literature who can be termed as poet critic. Thomas Jens Eliot and he is one of the representative poets of modern age. Other famous modernists are James Joyce, Virginia Woolf, D.S. Lawrence. The poem Wasteland came on the period of modernism. So, we can um, discuss few things about modernism. Modernism is a period in literary history which started around the early 1900s and continued until the early 1940s. Modernist writers in general rebelled against clear-cut storytelling and formulaic verse form of the 19th century literature and started to write in free verse. Eliot awarded with Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1948. The Wasteland is the masterpiece of Eliot published in 1922. The Wasteland is today the most widely translated and studied English language poem of 20th century. It is one of the most difficult poem as well. Modernism is well known for its obscurity and its intellectual quality. So, modernist writings are difficult to understand. But even then, Wasteland became extremely popular and its phenomenal success is due to its novelty as a poem and uh, as well as its contemporary relevance. In this poem, Eliot focuses mainly on the sterility and dryness of modern culture and the lack of tradition and ritual, ritual in the modern age. The first draft of the poem was a longer version. It was reduced and compressed with the help of his friend and poet Ezra Pond. As a result, what happened was the poem became trimmed and at the same time became more obscure. The wasteland still remains a touchstone of English literary canon. Eliot had wide knowledge in the myths and legends from different parts of the world. He was influenced mainly by two important books. Uh, one is Jesse L. Weston's Ritual to Romance and James Fraser's The Golden Bow. Other important sources include Bible, Upanishads, Buddha's Fire Sermon and he profusely quotes from authors like Shakespeare, Joseph, Spencer, Andrew Marvel, etc. Eliot uses several myths and legends in this poem. One of the legendary figures is the Fisher King, he is the important ruler who made his kingdom an infertile wasteland. Eliot brilliantly adapts the legend of the Fisher King and his wasteland to illustrate the deteriorating condition of the modern society. And also he uses the legendary figure, the legend of Oedipus. He was the king of Thebes. He unknowingly killed his father and married his mother invoking the wrath of the god. When he knew the truth, he became blind and the land became infertile. And the next uh, legendary figure is Theresius. Theresius is another important legendary figure in the poem. The legendary soothsayer Theresius was gifted with prophecy and immortality. He was one of the narrator of this poem. According to legends, Theresius was punished by goddess Hera who changed him into a woman. He was also struck blind by goddess Athena because he saw her bathing naked. Eliot uses Theresius as a narrator because he has enjoyed both manhood and womanhood. The poem adopts a novel technique of narration. It follows the fragmentary narrative form. It lacks continuity and therefore uh, the disconnected episodes that are first in the poem and the narration is monologic in nature. But at the same time, there are many narrators. 
so we can move to the brief summary of the form the wasteland was published in 1922 four years after the first world war the experiences of the post world war london and in a larger sense that of europe was imbibed by the poet and in the beginning of the poem there was an epigraph the epigraph of this poem is taken from satricon by petronius arbiter the epigraph speaks about a about a character named sibyl he was a mythological character according to mythology sibyl was granted immortality by god apollo but she forgot to ask for eternal youth hence her body withered away till only her voice was left and she was eventually kept in a jar the epigraph points out that like sibyl men and women living in the modern wasteland fears life and are haunted by wish to die the poem is divided into five section the burial of the dead a game of chess the fire sermon death by water what the thunder said so we can move to the section wise analysis and the first section is the burial of the dead it is actually an extract from the anglican funeral service the poem begins on a harsh note with a reference to the month of april april is the cruelest month in this line we can find an echo of chaucer's prologue to the canterbury tales the prologue begins with a reference to the month of april but during chaucer's time april was a very enjoyable month because it suggests the beginning of spring season but in the 20th century it became cruel because the people are reluctant to wake up from the deep slumber that they had during the winter the narrator in this section is perhaps a representative of eliot himself the spring season brings memory and desire and so the narrator moves back to his childhood memories and the first section is all about an ex- juxtaposition of the past and present and in this section uh, the narrator says about a Uh, fortune teller named madam sosostris who said to him that he was the drawn phoenician sailor and that he should fear by death the next section is uh, the game of chess the game of chess was taken from the jacobian play women beware women by thomas middleton in this play a young wife is seduced by a duke and while while her new mother in law was playing a game of chess and the title alludes to the depressing state of sexual relationships in the modern baseland one woman mentioned in the section section was a rich lady here uh, she was ornamented with um, a jewelers jewels and uh, gold etc and also she was complaining about her nails and the other section we ha- we can see two women they were gossiping about their friend and um, they uh, at the time of um, night and they were sitting on a pub and in this section eliot compares the um, differences between the higher class and lower class people in the wasteland the third section is fire sermon the topic was taken the title or the topic was taken from the buddha's fire sermon which urges man to give up their attachment to worldly desires symbolized by fire the narrator in this section sits on the banks and muses on the deplorable state of the world as terry says he is a young carbon cooler man hoping to bed with a lonely female typist only to make aggressively make uh, love to her the poem returns to the river where maiden sing a song of lament one of them crying for her loss of innocence to a similarly less wolf man death by water the death by water describes a dead phoenician lying in the water he may be the same drowned sailor whom uh madam sosostris spoke and uh, in this section eliot asked a uh, human to spiritually reborn and the last section is what the thunder said the fifth section shift the focus from the sea to the rocks and the narrator cries for rain and it finally comes the thunder said that uh, um, the thunder that accompanies it assures in the three pronged 
Dictum from the Brihadaranaga Upanishad Datta the Yadvam Damyada to give, to sympathize, to control. And that's all about the poem Wasteland written by T.S. Eliot.